Hi, my name is Sam Alvarez, and in this video, I will talk about the kinematic model for the Rolling Star soft robot that I developed with the help of my mentors, Dr. Andrew Sablehouse and Dr. Carmel Majidi for the 2020 Carnegie Mellon Robotic Institute Summer School Program. Rigid materials have long been utilized to fabricate robotic systems that are highly accurate, specialized, and powerful. In recent years, roboticists have taken interest in soft robots, which are inspired by biological organisms and have stretchable, flexible limbs. These robots are capable of navigating diverse terrain, including those that are rocky, uneven, or even underwater. And as you can see in this video, they're able to locomote. Currently, most soft robots operate without onboard state estimation, meaning that they do not have sensors to provide position feedback. Achieving onboard state estimation would allow for autonomous closed loop control, which is desirable for achieving trajectory tracking, disturbance rejection, and more robust movements in general. In the image shown on the slide, researchers created a soft robot that was capable of state estimation and closed loop control to track the location of an orange ball. However, this system required an off-board mounted computer vision algorithm. To progress towards onboard state estimation, a kinematic model that describes the pose of the robot is necessary. This summer, I created a novel closed form solution to describe the kinematics of the Rolling Star, a soft robot made of seven electrically actuated limbs. The main inputs to describe the kinematics of the curved sections are the curvatures, a subset of all joint angles, and the arc lengths of the curved sections. To describe the pose of the straight sections, the curvatures, and the length of the straight sections are inputs. We are able to simplify the kinematics of the curved sections of the robot by modeling a straight bar that connects the tips of the curved sections. In order to determine the length of this bar, we use the formula shown on the screen. To get the solution in terms of the correct number of angles, we apply law of cosines and law of sines to the pseudo four bar mechanism shown in red. And we are able to solve for unknown angles in terms of known parameters. We solve for the kinematics of the straight sections by finding the bisecting slope of two adjacent curves. Knowing this slope and the length of the straight section, we are able to locate the outer tips of the robot. By comparing our model to a ground truth simulation, we can get a sense of the performance of our model. Based on the video shown on the left, you can see that the outputs of our model, which are shown by colored markers, tracks the position of the robot in the simulation, which is shown by black markers, very well. The video on the right shows the actual simulation. This plot shows the error in the location of certain features of the robot normalized by the height of the robot. As you can see around 0.24 seconds, the error spikes for all turns. This is when the robot actuates. When developing the model for the curved sections of the robot, we assumed that these had constant curvature and inertial effects likely cause the robot to deviate from our assumption. Also, we assumed that the straight sections were straight, and the robot likely deviates from this assumption when actuating. With this being said, the error of the location of all features remains less than 2% over the entire simulation, which is very low. I want to give a huge thank you to my two mentors, Dr. Andrew Sablehouse and Dr. Kamal Majidi. Thank you guys for your support this summer. Also, thank you to the sponsors of RISC for making this program possible.